What does it talk about? Number one, for those who have big money. I'll go from big money to small money because I know others, like most people want to hear about big money. He's just allowed the privatization of state assets. Do you know a company called um, uh, Tel One? If Tel One was put in private hands, it would thrive way more than it's thriving now. Do you know a company that is called NRZ in Janji? It will be doing much better. That's going to privatization. Do you know uh, um, uh, a company, uh, ZBC needs to be privatized. You can't have ZBC. You know, I'm going to get TV, you can buy Sky. Go America, go England, go Mavuku. ZBC, you know, I'm going to get TV, you can buy Sky all the time. Why? Because when we go ZBC, our side one born a TV is Siri. We go ZBC. So we go to get that Judith Makwana. We are name as Zinoake Two. Judith Makwana can't even pronounce her name. My name is Judith Makwana. Reporting for ZBC. Ah, I talk about the words will not come out. I'm not mocking her. She was born with two teeth and she's been two teeth ever since. Now she's about she's old and should have retired with her two teeth. All I'm saying is ZBC I squeed now. That has got to be privatized. So you want to make money, big money, you go and you look at those assets. Because if you've got capital and you inject capital in those assets, you're bound to make money. Now, there's those companies that like to do the, the to feed the country. Dairy Board is one of uh, the government assets. POSB, the bank, that's going to be privatized. National Building Society, that's going to be um, privatized so programs if you have ideas of how do you make sure you make houses available to most zimbabweans whether the ones in the diaspora or the ones locally they've made that available through opening up the facility to sell off the asset of national building society so if you've got big money start thinking about that if you've got middle money and you want to be a trader the minister effective today cabinet has announced borders are now open if you are in england and you are watching me if you are watching me from England, Zimbabwe does not have medication right now. Insulin is hard to access right now. You can now bring your, you can now imp, uh, import. So you are, you are exporting, but we're importing your uh, medical utensils or your medications to put in our hospitals. When you open the borders, that means we are never going to have a shortage. Watch what's going to happen this week. 